good afternoon and welcome to the new Akron Elementary School. I'm standing here and I'm just like, I cannot believe this day has finally arrived. I'm sure my staff is thinking the same thing that are out here. I'm so excited to share our school with you today. I wanna to take this time to personally thank my staff. My staff has gone through so many changes this last two school years. Everyone moved at least once and some even moved three times before reaching their final classroom or office. Through the changes, not once did I hear them complain. They were all troopers. What I liked most about watching my staff go through the many changes is the closeness I saw amongst them. Everyone pitched in and helped each other even on their days off. See, this is what makes this school so special. It's not just a building we come to every day to work. It's a second home where we come to every day to see our second family. Being a family is what makes Akron Elementary so special. Thank you, staff, for all your hard work and your dedication. Next, I wanna thank my students. I could not ask for a better group of kids. These kids have adapted to every change that has been brought their way. Moving classrooms, no playground, moving classrooms, having music on the stage, moving classrooms again, and having library in their classrooms, gym in the hallway it has been a lot of changes they have adjusted to everything with smiles on their faces when this project started i knew right away i wanted to make sure my staff and students were involved because this was not just my building it was our building it started out with our architect interviewing our teachers and staff to get a feel for what they would want in their new school we had a groundbreaking ceremony that involved our students on the first day of the 16-17 school year, our project manager spoke to all of our students, explaining to them what was going to take place with the building project and how to keep safe during the construction. Throughout the project, several events took place. We had a beam ceremony, where each student and staff member signed a beam to put up with the construction. We had personal tours, where all of our students and staff got to walk through the new building before anyone else did. Companies that were part of the construction spoke during our career day and shared with students what and why they, were do, why they were doing certain things to our new school. We had a time capsule ceremony where we placed items into a container and set it inside a block at the front entrance of the school. And now we have our dedication where our students and staff are involved too. I can honestly look around and say, this is our school. Thank you, Brett, Blaine, Todd, Keith, the school board, Skillman Corporation, Barton Co. Villama, and the community for your support and making this dream a reality. At last, thank you to my family for putting up with my stress level and supporting me in my dream job. Thank you all for an amazing school. And now, my fifth grade choir, um, with my music teacher, Mrs. Baxter, they're going to be singing the national anthem. So if you could please rise, our flag is over here on the south wall, and we'll be doing the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose bright shines and bright stars through the Our next speakers um, are two of my student council um, officers, and our first speaker today is going to be Gunnar Crispin. He is my student council president. So 
Hello. Hello. My name... <laughs> Hello. My name is Gunnar Crispin. I am the president of Student Council. Our school has clearly <laughs> changed a lot since my first day of kindergarten. Um, we have a lot of nice things, including this gym, the lunchroom, and the classrooms. But one of my favorite things is the classrooms. They include an interactive board that lets, that lets students be engaged in the lesson that they are being taught. This school has impacted me a lot. Um, my first day of kindergarten was very scary, but now thanks to our new school, I, it makes learning fun. I look forward to coming here. Um, <clears throat> this school will definitely, definitely impact future generations. Um, I want to thank um, my principal, all the board members, and everybody else for coming out today. And Next is our Vice President, Kerrigan Callahan. Hi. Hi, my name is Karen Callahan and I'm a fifth grade student and Vice President of Student Council at this elementary school. I'd first like to say thank you to Mrs. Mills for giving me this opportunity to speak today. Also, thank you, Cinder, Randy Head, members of the Tippecanoe Valley School Board, and our community for taking time to be here today and acknowledge the importance of supporting our school through community involvement. Five years ago, I got off the school bus in front of the kindergarten doors to be met by my parents. They got to the school 30 minutes before the bus arrived and were just as nervous to see me figure out my first day alone. Not having any older friends or siblings, I was shy and scared. These past five years, not only have I grown through the encouragement of my parents and teachers, but also econometry looks different as well. The kindergarten classrooms now have their own bathroom for the kids to use. There are also doors in each of their classrooms for easier safety exits in case they need to get out of the building quickly. Although, thankfully, my parents don't wait for me to get off the school bus anymore, there is an easier check-in and out system for them if they did. The addition of two locked doors, which are monitored by our secretary, Sam, keep even every one of us safe during the school day. Akron Elementary School has provided an opportunity for its students to learn and try new things with after-school clubs and fun subjects. Practically the Way was just started last year and has sparked an interest in me in learning more about science and engineering. I have learned about teamwork and working together through being involved in a robotics club. This year, I got to participate on the school's volleyball team. Now that the gym is finished, we have new equipment and it will be more enjoyable for practices and games. Our new building will impact future students to grow and learn for many years to come. Our new lunchroom has individual tables that can sit up, seat up to eight people so we can sit with more of our friends. Unlike my kindergarten year, I no longer request peanut butter and jelly for lunch. Now that I am older, I enjoy eating a variety of food and the school cafeteria staff does an excellent job of providing that. We are given more freedom to make healthy choices for lunch with the addition of a new salad bar. Our playground equipment is new and has lots of fun things to play on. Hopefully it will be an outlet for a shy, scared kindergartner like I once was to meet their lifelong friends and create many positive memories at Akron Elementary School. Thank you for investing in my future. I'm a proud Akron Flyer. They did a wonderful job. If you guys can give them a round of applause again. I'm so proud of them. Next, we're going to have um, Kirk Robinson from Pike Lumber Company. He is their purchasing manager, and he is going to say a few words. Good afternoon. And Thank you, Mr. Boggs, for asking me to be part of this spectacular event. As a citizen of Akron, 
I want to thank the school board and Mr. Boggs and Mr. Conley and Mrs. Mills and all those involved for having the foresight to help grow the Akron Elementary School. It's a vital part of our community now and moving on into the future. We're very fortunate to have a progressive school board and superintendent with a vision for the corporation. And I certainly commend all those decision makers that uh, uh, helped in the design of this building and the school property. Pike Lumber Company was very honored to be asked to provide Pike brand hardwoods for the interior design of this project. It's very striking to walk into the building and see the hardwood panels and see the office furniture that is uh, when you walk right into the school. It's a, it's a great example of local product and craftsmanship. Being asked to participate also meant a lot to Pike Lumber Company as we have many co-workers from forklift drivers to company owners who have walked the hallways of Akron Elementary School over the years. And as foresters, we certainly want to thank Mr. Boggs and the school board for helping to, to protect the giant bur oak tree, which is out front. That, um, I believe working around that tree was actually part of the project. That tree is, is estimated to be over 200 years old, is the oldest tree in Akron, and was just a sapling when James Madison, our fifth president, took office. This is a fantastic building and it's well worth protecting and certainly been rewarding for Pike Lumber Company to be part of this school in the past, the present, and moving on into the future. Thank you. And next on our agenda, we're going to have Adam Heckman. He's our um, this year's um, school board president. Thank you, Chrissy, and uh, good afternoon. What an honor it is to stand here today, as someone who once walked the hallways of this elementary school and now represents the community as the president of the school board. This is an incredible day for our children and our community. With this new school, we express our commitment to the families of Akron and surrounding community. Without the support of the administrators, educators, and community, the vision of this building would not have become a reality. Akron Elementary has been at the heart of our community for many years, and thanks to the support of everyone involved, it will continue to be a focal point for many years and generations to come. And for that, we say thank you. For those of us who attended Akron Elementary, it was difficult to say goodbye to the old school. This building had played such an important role in all of our lives, including my own family. Some 75 years ago, my grandmother, Elaine, went to Akron School. My father, siblings and I attended Akron as well, and my daughter is now a student here. I've experienced firsthand the love, care, and support of Akron staff and community, and continue to see that same loyalty towards my daughter's education. Unfortunately, the building that stood here was no longer able to meet the needs of our educators, and more importantly, our students. We're very proud to say that we now have a state-of-the-art facility that is providing us with more space and freedom to enlighten the youth of our community. Within these new walls, Akron staff are better able to provide the necessary tools and deliver the best possible opportunities and education for our children. Our community is a strong one, and at its core is this school. This community is passionate and cares deeply for Akron Elementary. This building is a representation of your efforts and commitment to bettering the youth of today and the future. Be proud. This is your community. This is your school. While my time serving the community in the Tippecanoe Valley School Corporation has been short, I have always been a proud, proud to be a part of the Valley family. It has been an honor and a privilege for myself and the rest of the board members to serve the community that we all love. And we look forward to our bright future as a corporation. Thank you.
At this time, we're going to have Derek um, from Skillman Corporation come up for presentation of the plaque. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm Derek Anderson with the Skillman Corporation. We were the construction managers on the project. Worked very closely with the school corporation, the board, uh, Mr. Boggs, especially Ms. Mills. Um, she, her and her staff went through a tremendous ordeal getting this project going during construction. Um, like they've mentioned, there was a lot of changes, moving around, different uh, or various components that had to be completed while they were in the building the whole time. So with that, uh, we have a key to signify the completion of the project and this dedication plaque on behalf of the Skillman Corporation and Barton Cove Miller, the architects. been wonderful to work with. Um, I can't say enough. They've included me on everything, absolutely everything. Um, I, I think I've said a few times to my family, I think I could go build a building now. I've never learned so much about HVAC and technology and all these words y'all taught me. I don't know. Do I want to go build another building? No, I don't. All right. Um, next, I'm going to um, introduce our superintendent, um, Mr. Brett Boggs, to close us out here. Thank you. Yeah, I was told a long time ago that every principal should have to go through a building project. I think Mrs. Mills knows what that means now, right? It's a lot of work. It was almost three years ago, in April of 2015, that the Tippecanoe Valley Board of School Trustees conducted a project and preliminary determination hearing in the old Akron Elementary School gym was set just south of here where probably some of you parked this morning, or excuse me, this afternoon. It was at that hearing that we shared the scope of the plan renovation and new construction, the associated costs, and how the project would be financed. On May 18th, 2016, that's exactly 22 months ago today, 22 months from today, we broke ground for the new Akron Elementary School project. Today, as we gather to dedicate this beautiful new facility that will serve our children and the community for years to come, um, I think we can all take great pride and great joy. As we close today's dedication, for the new Akron Elementary School. There are several people though I would like to thank and uh, recognize because if not for their efforts, this project would have never happened. I'd like to start with a, a group of individuals from throughout the district who serve as what we call key communicators. We first met with our key communicators in January of 2015 to share important information about the project. And then we ask that they take that information and share that with, with people that they know, with their friends, and coworkers, and so forth. This was an effective way of communicating accurate information to our community. So I would like to ask each communicator that's here today to please stand as I read your name. Blaine Conley, Blaine Hartzler, Brian Murphy, Chrissy Mills, Dan Kramer, Deb Tillman, Jim Mitterling, John Hutton, Justin Gearhart, Keith Lang, Kenya Rosas, Kirk Robinson, Mark Wise, Marty Gearhart, Orville Haney, Patty Newman, Stephanie Overby, Stephanie Shaw, Terry Swick, Todd Glenn, and Vonda Ryman. I'd like to thank you, key communicators, for your help with this project. Uh, during the design phase of the project, we contacted Pike Lumber to see if they would incorporate Pike Hardwoods into the new school. They responded with an enthusiastic yes, and you will see as you tour the building today a variety of Pike Hardwoods uh, located throughout the school. In fact, right down here and right above me, those are Pike Hardwoods. Thank you, Pike Lumber Company.
I would also like to thank Greg and Annette Groninger, uh, owners of the farmland to the east and to the north of our property here. Many of you know of the drainage issues that we experienced in this, in this area over the years. Well, Greg worked very closely with the school corporation and allowed us to cross his farmland uh, with a large drainage system that has completely alleviated that issue. So thank you, Greg and Annette. We'd like to thank the town of Akron for its full support of the Akron Elementary School project. We're quite pleased that the town was able to use almost all of the soil that we removed from, from the site and place it down in Cutshell Park for Marty's Mountain. So now our kids in the community have a sledding hill. That's dirt from this, this project. So thank you, town of Akron. We also need to thank the neighbors, the people that live adjacent to this property because they put up with a lot of noise and a lot of dust, a lot of dirt for the last 22 months. So I'd like to thank the neighbors for their patience and understanding through this process. And then thank you to Bart Co. Villama and their uh, Bart Co. Villama architects and engineers for their fine work in designing the new Akron Elementary School uh, with us today. And I would ask them to stand our co-owner, Dana Wanamaker, and project architect, Adam Wiesner. I also would like to thank our construction managing firm, uh, the Skillman Corporation. We just met uh, Derek Anderson. Also today here we have uh, Dion Katsouris of the Skillman Corporation and Akron's own Jim Mitterling, who was on the project for the entire time. So thank you, Skillman. The members of the Akron Elementary School Building Corporation, Karen Francis, Chad Borett, and Orville Haney, I do want to uh, recognize and thank them for their willingness to be involved in this project in such a very important way. Thank you. And I'd like to recognize our school board members that made this important commitment to the patrons of the school corporation and our community. School Board President uh, Adam Heckman, I would ask them to stand, please, as we read off their names. Uh, Vice President Aaron Zolman. School Board Secretary Stan Miller. School Board Member Brian Murphy. School Board Member Todd Hoffman. And past school board members Dave O'Brien and Tom Kraft, who were instrumental in the early parts of this project. So thank you, school board members. I'd like to thank the community for its support of this project, which was completed without a referendum. That very, very seldom happens today in Indiana. But this project was completed without a referendum, and I think that says a lot about the community support of this school. Um, I'm also feel pretty good about the fact that I think this school, this new school, is part of the reason that this little town is doing well. We're thriving. Akron is a thriving community. <laughs> um, our technology director, Keith Lang, and our maintenance director, Todd Glenn, have spent hours here on this project making sure that things are done and uh, to our satisfaction working with the contractors. I'd like to thank both Keith and Todd for their, their hard work. Also, I think we need to remember that what makes a school great is not the building. It's the people inside. I want to thank Mrs. Mills, her students, and her entire staff for making this multi-phase renovation and new construction project happen. This was a huge challenge, and I don't know that many people, except the folks that work here, realize just how big that challenge was. It was a lot of work. But they remained flexible, and they tackled each challenge with a positive attitude, always keeping the end product in mind. And I think they see now what it, it probably was worth all the, the effort and the, and the sweat and the tears, I'm sure. Uh, but it was a lot of work for the people here. I know the kids, uh, I hope they enjoyed the process, but uh, 
There were a lot of days they probably couldn't go out to si outside to recess when they would have liked to and some of those kinds of things as well. So thanks to the students here as well for, for all your patience. And that playground will be ready one of these days so you guys can use it now. <laughs> So as we conclude today's dedication ceremony, um, I hope you will take some time to tour the new facility. Mrs. Mills has staff members that will be located throughout the building, so if you have any questions about anything, make sure and ask one of them, and I'm sure if they don't know the answer, they'll find out for you. So this is a, this is a great day for our community here of Akron. Thank you so very much for attending this uh, dedication ceremony, and I hope you uh, enjoy the day, and, and be sure to take a nice tour of the building. Thank you very much.